Hey guys, I hope you are having an amazing weekend wherever you are around the world. My name is Alistair and welcome to All Star Crypto. Now, for you guys who are new here, I have been 10 years in crypto ever since Bitcoin was around 30 bucks and now we have reached the 31,900, 32,000 level from a position where it has gone down significantly from 40k. Now, this is normal, right? I am just letting you guys know to be straight up. If you guys like me being straight up with you, like we're going into today, then please leave a like on this video. It helps the YouTube algorithm and it lets me know what you guys actually want going forward. Now, because the overwhelming amount of views, which doubled in the past 18 hours, we're going into a video today on DeFi. Now, not just DeFi in general, we are going into long-term picks. Now, I got a few emails asking if I'm creating a trading group, and yes, I am going to be doing this in the very near future. It's not something I'm too... invested in right now because I am doing multiple things in this space. However, it is something that I do regularly, and I do trade regularly. So it is something that we could actually put together and I could be giving you guys charts of breakouts as they actually occur, but I'll need to get the Patreon up for everything before we start. So be looking out for that in the very near future. By that I mean next week. <laughs> so anyway, let's get straight in with the DeFi picks and we're going into long term. Now, why are we going into this? Because of the messages I've been getting about the trading group, I feel it is very important for you guys to understand the value of long-term holds. Now, you guys might be wondering, like, why should I do this? Why should I care? Uh, you know, Chainlink or Polkadot's going to 100 bucks, but it's going to take forever. Why don't I just trade this, Alistair? Like, why do I need to wait and then you know, go a year and just put it at $17 and it might go down and make me feel like I want to jump off a cliff <laughs> and it just make me feel sore and make me watch the Bitcoin FUD video and how to beat it continuously. And <laughs> what I tell you is this, the bigger picture needs to be at play here. You guys got to understand, if you found this channel, you are so early to the game, it's crazy. And there's so many people saying like, this is the bull run, this is like what's happening, this is the start of it, and it's going to lead to, you know, a hundred dollar polka dot, and then it's going to be over. No, it isn't. Okay? I can tell you guys, I have been in the space for the past 10 years. There is no way that there is going to be an altcoin season that is not going to be continuous with Bitcoin continuously going up as well. I gave that to you guys in the other video and tried to give you guys a little bit of uh, how to on the way Bitcoin is right now. I'm not sure where I put it. Uh, is it altcoin season video? So if you guys haven't checked out that video seriously, check it out. It gives you a way different perspective of this market that most people won't understand, especially those top YouTubers giving their advice that is so dumb, right? Inaccurate. Do not listen to these people. They don't know what they're talking about. For somebody who's been in the space, who to understand how many different bull runs there's been, if you count it, this is my third bull run. There has never been more money in the space, and I understand for sure the way the top entrepreneurs are because I work with these people in person. Most of these people, most of these channels, they're just speculating on what they think is going to happen. They speculate like, oh, it must be this because the TA does this. Well, buddy, it's great that you think TA means that something is significant, but majority of the time, if you guys noticed, this space is manipulated. It is totally manipulated. There have been times where Bitcoin doesn't do what it's supposed to do. And when those times happen, people try to hide behind their TA. It just doesn't work. And by the way, I use TA regularly. There's nothing against TA. I'm just saying we're in a space that is not regulated properly. 
and it is very new. So there is going to be people who have their agenda who come in and drop the price significantly and then pump up the price significantly, then drop the price again, which is probably what's going on right now with Bitcoin. So for you guys to note, it is not black and white. Okay, I know you guys want to know, like, is it all going season or is it not? It's not black and white. And you guys, especially you young guys and girls out there, please stop seeing the world as black and white. It is not black and white. It is a lot of shades of grey. Okay, it's the people on YouTube trying to be right about everything who are usually wrong about most things. And again, they hide behind what they say and then they Hardly any of them apologize, actually. Uh, but they end up just being wrong. <laughs> they end up being wrong. So do your own research. That's why it's so important. And realize that none of this is financial advice, including what I'm giving you guys today. However, I'm coming from a more knowledgeable position than I would say 99% of these crypto people who usually hide behind what they're doing. So let's go straight in to this. Hope you guys didn't get bored by what I was saying or... You know, if you did, then hopefully you come back. <laughs> Let's start with the long-term picks. So, first one that I'm going to give you guys is one that everybody's been awesome, awesomely bullish on continuously, and that is Zillica. Now, why do I say Zillica, right, to start this? Yes, Alistair, you're supposed to be giving different ones, but that is true, and we are going into different ones for this, but I want to give you guys Zillica for the sole reason that you guys can actually stake it. Now, this is why it ties in with the whole long-term picks and why I'm so bullish on this for the bull run and the coming months. It's because when you stake Zillica, you can actually get a return that is pretty damn awesome, right? So it gives you a staking well, staking application as well as the ability to stake now and it also gives you a calculator of what is possible for you somewhere around here. So like you guys know I try to keep this as easy as possible so I would rather just get straight to the point. You guys can do your own research on Zillica. It is an absolute awesome coin hitting around about the 10 cent mark. Knowing that because I played in Zillica to the 10 cent mark before it retraced significantly and now it is very 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 much on the cheap side if we check it out on the chart real quick you guys will see the market cap has significantly increased in comparison to the dollar amount and the BTC amount you guys can see that cool let's go on now here yes it's not at the low but if Bitcoin continues to come up, there may not be another time to kind of get it at this price unless it does a uh, retracement. So I will not get into charts for today. I want to keep this very much fundamentals because the fundamentals for the most part are what count. If you guys can just buy and hold and live a life like I gave you guys in that FUD video, if you haven't checked it out, please check it out. I'm trying to teach you guys the space very quickly check it out <laughs> and yeah just to give you guys the most important part which is putting it away getting dividends which is getting monthly earnings from what you're giving and making it work for your life where you're not too invested in the space going up and down and letting it affect your life i can tell you i'm coming from first-hand experience here and i'm also coming from a position where i've seen a lot of these youtubers who are in the crypto space absolutely get so affected and you can just tell on camera they're too invested in what they do they're too invested in the markets and they're coming from a position where they can't even motivate people to stay strong because you can tell in their eyes that they're just too invested in that market and it's gone down and now they're waiting for it to come back up and their videos start to suffer <laughs> the reason i'm able to hold myself true every time is because i never give as much as i can lose in trades unless i'm 100 percent sure which is the majority of what i'm sharing with you guys on this video hope you guys like it but with this, it is a good long-term pick because if you start staking Zillica, if we go like Zillica, we'll just go Zillica calculator, you will be earning about 7% or so. So it's pretty good from my perspective on having enough to kind of invest or even just having a thousand or so and being in a safe position where you can always get it out at the time where it rides up indefinitely. Now, what do I mean by this indefinitely? 
you guys will see, like I said, it reached the one cent or the 10 cent mark, right? It reached the 10 cent mark before retracing. The way I look at things is in platforms. Now, when there's a platform, there's a huge change in the price and it rolls up, as you guys can see, it rolls up on a chart to a position where there is a new platform that it kind of stands on at a new price. Now, if you guys watch my other DeFi pick channel, I gave you guys that in terms of going up in fives for the DeFi picks like Polkadot, Chainlink, uh, Avalanche, and the other ones that I gave you guys. They go up in around about fives and then they go to another platform and they kind of stay on that platform. Now, if this comes back down, then it hasn't stayed at that platform and it's just retraced significantly. Sooner or later, Zilliqa has got to go to a new platform up. Now, what does this mean? This usually means it would be around about this level, right? And now I can actually see that it may have been more expensive. Oh, wow. It reached higher than the 10 cent level. Very cool. So, maybe around the 20, 22, 23 cent level. Great. So, that is a new platform, but that doesn't mean it's not possible for it to significantly retrace, which it has done. And that is the reason why I'm so bullish on it. You guys can see, it is going to definitely hit those levels again. There is no doubt in my mind at all. The great thing about this is if you choose to go in on one thing, for example this, uh, Zilliqa, you can get interest by staking it, and then when it goes up to new platform highs, which will be the two cent level, the five cent level, some people think it can go to the 20 cent level, etc. You've not only got interest by doing nothing, you've gotten what I would call the dividends or the uh, ZRX. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, how did that happen? <laughs> did you guys, was I just in the wrong thing? Zilliqa, right? Why is there a calculator about ZRX? Random. Okay, so, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, that's better. All right. So, with Zilliqa, it's very important to understand that you could just, you know, go live your life, put away, maybe get like... We'll say 10,000 Zilliqa. What is that? That's 600, 700 bucks. Maybe you just cut cut a few things in your life, a few small things in your life that you don't need over a few months. If you choose to, you could dollar cost average in. And look, $1,000 almost to the T. Current holdings value, you got 15,000. And then your total rewards value in a year is $143. Now, you can make that doing absolutely nothing, and the reward rate is 14.36 for a year, right? You cannot get that in any other bank. Any other bank, and probably in the world, unless you are a multimillionaire, which I wouldn't have a clue while you're watching this channel, but hey, pump the coins. <laughs> pump the coins for the subscribers. Do us a favor. <laughs> so... Hopefully they heard, and if they did and that happens, then please leave a like on this video, really appreciate it. But either way, this total holdings is not very much, I mean it's a grand. And that's something you can make very easily, even if you're working at a supermarket. So you can make this, get that amount of rewards, value, and it's nearly 15%, more than any bank would give you, or just put your savings, if they were $1,000, in there. Right? So if we went and, you know, some of you have like 10k, so we got 10k in value, you get $1,440 with the same value rewards rate as $1,000. That's ridiculous, right? And that's staking that 150,000 Zilliqa. And by the way, when that goes up in price, which again, it inevitably will, it will reach these all-time highs again of, what are they, 22 cents or whatever it is, 23 cents. It will reach, actually pass, go past those levels and platform to a new level, maybe 50 cents, whatever it is. And whenever you're ready to sell, you just go to get it out. Maybe it takes a few days to get it out. That's okay because it's platformed at a new level. You wait for it to ride up one more time. 
whoops, should be using charts, right? Right, one more time for it to write up. Then it's at that new level and it's at a high. Then you sell at the high, you make a lot of profit and you've got your yearly rewards for doing absolutely nothing and living your life. Tell me that is not amazing, right? So 15 minutes into this video, crazy. You can do this with others. There is Cardano like I gave you guys in that other video. Check it out if you already haven't, but there are other ones in uh, DeFi space as well. You guys just check them out, right? I'm not going to go any more into this. I did not think this would be 15 minutes. <laughs> I was supposed to keep it max 15 minutes, actually. <laughs> so hopefully you guys are watching this on as a podcast. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the podcast on Anchor, I'll be putting all of these videos out there if you guys just want a better way to kind of watch it without it constantly pausing. Maybe you're watching this at the gym or, or listening to it at the gym while you work out or during your day at work or whatever it is for you or during your commute. If you want it easier at a place and position where it doesn't pause, then consider going to the anchor uh, thing. I'm going to put it here next to the subscribe button up the top so you guys can get into that and listen to it from another platform where it won't keep pausing on you, <laughs> right? the annoying video and ads that pop up with this. So the next one that I'm going to give you guys for this is a mainstream pick. And you know, you guys are probably like, man, another mainstream pick. And it is right there. Isn't that crazy? It is crypto.com or crow. And what I know about this is you can stake this as well. It is absolutely cool. I should make this a staking video, really. I mean, this is one that you can stake from the website, and the website is very much helpful to people who have a lot of this crypto.com coin, and they stake it for very, very long amounts of time. Now, the first thing that I want to give you guys is the reason to invest. Okay, not only that, not only is it an awesome, awesome, awesome looking MasterCard or, you know, <laughs> Visa, hopefully they don't, <laughs> hopefully that's not a, an impingement of their brand, but it is, oh, where are the cool, okay, cannot find it, cannot find those cool MasterCards and stuff. Okay, this is different. All right. Okay, so. For this, the reason, the main reason, actually, that I want you guys to check out Crypto.com in general is because what it has for new investors. The most important thing is the fact that most people coming in want to get into the space very, very quickly. They usually go after the first thing and they want it as simple as possible. So as you guys just saw, I literally just went straight in right to that site it's because crypto.com is an ad that is on crypto and bitcoin buy bitcoin etc it's above there right at the top so that is one reason to be bullish one very small reason to be bullish but it is one nonetheless now the second thing is this the cards and i think these cards look very very cool they're very new agey with how they look especially i like the green one I like that green one. It's very different, right? And the red one's pretty cool too. And the blue one, right? Yeah. So <laughs> I'm not affiliated with these guys. <laughs> if you guys are thinking like, man, does this guy just want me to buy this? No, I don't. I actually don't think uh, any of you should be doing these cards unless you understand what you're getting into. So do your own research. I'm not affiliated with these people, nor do I need to be affiliated with any of these people to recommend them. I'm giving you guys my advice from a position where, again, 10 years in the crypto space, take it or leave it. Now, the circulating supply is high, let's be real, and the max supply is high, and the reason is obvious. They need this to happen for people to adopt this as an actual type of money, in a sense, that is meaningful and worthwhile and worth what it is worth, right? Pretty sure that the Crypto.com card and Crow, Crypto.com coin, come together, right? Crow. <laughs> yeah. Crow. Anyway, the point is for you guys and girls that the market cap is steadily increasing, even though <laughs> fail <laughs> it is steadily increasing though trust me and it's going to a position yeah you guys can see it here steadily increasing right it's the blue one 
and price is as well in USDT, as well as Bitcoin, which is kind of lagging, but it is increasing continuously because this is the go-to for new investors. It just is. For people looking to get into the space, they're going to look here first. It is all over Google, etc. The visas make it very easy and the fees aren't very high. It's a very easy way to start in the cryptocurrency space. Now, with that being said, is a big one that I am really bullish on. Ready? It is this. Now, you guys can see here, it is 20 cents. Now, it is down 64.5%. Now, why am I so bullish on this? Alistair, it's 20 cents. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. It's not that much. I, I can't even buy a packet of lollies for 20 cents. Why does this matter? Let me tell you guys why. It matters because of the circulating supply first, as well as the max supply. And it matters because it has only done this in 2020, as in five months ago. Now, what that means is the reasonable assumption that we can make is because it went up in the past five or six months that it is going to reach those highs once more and because it is in the position as you guys can actually see it's kind of like looking like it's creating what is happening here can you guys see that there it's kind of hard to see but it's creating a parabola here you guys can actually see that it looks like it's creating another parabola from a higher platform Remember I was talking about the platforms. It looks like it's doing this. Now, it may retrace down. However, it is going to go in that fashion where it is going to create another parabola up. You guys want to get it at this point where it's bottomed. And it's actually nearly at this point here in the BTC pair. Do you guys see this? I hope you guys see this. Very important to note. And the other things to mention, like I said, the fact that it's been what, five months since it was 20 cents, makes it to the position where if Bitcoin hits 40k, we'll say, which is inevitable, by the way, guys, it's inevitable, it's going to hit 40k, this will come back to that all-time high. Make sense? Yeah. So that is the reason to be so bullish on it. Not only that, I mean, look at the volume. Look at it. <laughs> it's crazy but I know that was September 2020 but you guys can see it's actually significantly increasing over time now I can't actually see if that's sells or buys but the fact that that much volume has come into the space in the few in the last few months means that at least some of that volume would have come from the crypto.com card as well as the exchange which I forgot to mention. <laughs> yeah. So the funny thing is this as well. If you guys don't have enough reason to be bullish on this, like Alice's 20 cents, you know, I'm not even going to make 20 cents per coin. I only got like 20 bucks. Just give me a moonshot. Give me a moonshot coin. Don't give me this run up BS. Let me tell you guys, this staking is really, really good. And I was very surprised when I saw that they would give you, if I can see it, find it somewhere. It's going to say, nope, where are we at? Is it lending? Maybe, maybe I have got the wrong place right now, but you can get like 8% or something um, to stake your crypto.com coins, right? And I find that absolutely ridiculous, but it makes sense to me. It does because of what they're actually on, what their platform is, which disappeared. <laughs> the MasterCard, as well as the Exchange, make it so it steadily increases. In the same way, uh, the other ones of the previous bull runs went up significantly. I'm actually going to be doing Exchange Coins for one of the videos for you guys because there is so much value to be made in Exchange Coins in general. But I'm going to show you a few. I'm just going to go through a few. One is Leo. Now, Leo is another coin that is an exchange coin that I want you guys to be very bullish on as well. Why do I say this? It had a very significant run up during the last bull run and it has hardly moved. Now, this is the coin for Bitfinex and I know because I used to use Bitfinex. Now, the fact that it's up 65% from the all-time low kind of says something, but it has retraced significantly from the all-time high of $2. This did not start 
from a position where it was in a positive place. Bitfinex has been under a lot of pressure because they continuously have problems with their USDT, which was part of the reason why I got out of that exchange. They had this tether FUD, which has happened the past few months, but it happened back then as well. See what I mean about the things that are repeating themselves over and over again. So this has not actually seen a proper run-up properly. <laughs> so when all of that scandal stuff finishes, I can see this riding up two very significant levels up there, at least reaching the $2 level, etc. But the reason I'm saying that is that all of these seem to consistently go up as the exchange gets more and more people. As you guys know as well, you get 50% off fees. Don't quote me on that, but just look into this. Do your own research as usual. The Crypto.com coin and the exchange, I think it's like 50% off and they give a lot of different discounts on buying different coins. I think the Crow coin you can buy at a massive discount as well, just to have that coin. So, with that being said, is the last one that I want to show you here, just for the exchange coins to kind of bring it into perspective. So, these coins do not have burn cycles, but Binance Coin does. Now, Binance Coin is the one that everybody goes to because it is on the largest exchange with the most volume as per usual, but who says those other exchange coins cannot catch up, right? The $39 price mark, I mean, the difference in low supply, etc., yes, circulating supply is lower, max supply is lower, etc., then most probable these are, but, no, not by a large margin, but with seeing historical data and seeing how everything kind of rides up, Binance Coin at one point, I mean, look at its all-time low. Its all-time low was in the exact same position as some of these are right now, and they have significant run-ups. 96 cents. Look at that. Oh, 9 cents actually. 9, 6. So it's significantly low when it first started, when nobody cared about these people. So this is your chance to actually get in at the low when nobody cares about these people. <laughs> so crypto.com. Ah, uh, man. Hope this doesn't get taken off. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> crypto.com is at absolute lows. Seriously. It is something you guys and girls should be looking into, seeing, seriously, I realize, I trade this, I'm not going to sit here and say I hold this in general, but it's something I'm looking to get into when the next retrace happens. If you guys want, in the comments, leave a comment and I will let you guys know when that retrace is happening, or you guys can join the future trade group and we can do trades on this. I can tell you guys, I did this significant run up. Yes, I did this. Yes, it was really, really awesome. So I bought it at like here, over here, maybe here. So I bought it here at the four cent, nearly five cent mark, and it rode up to, I think I got out before this actually, the 15 cent mark. Yep, 15 cents. So yeah, very, very awesome gains there. Made a huge profit on that one trade. That took quite a while, but yeah, it was worth it. So that was very cool. Those are the kinds of things you guys can get into, by the way, with that private group coming very, very soon. But let's get back to the video. So these are something to look at. Like you can see, this is kind of like a look in the future view. Future view, going in the past view, right now in the past view, just starting out view. A very good long-term hold. Not only because it gives you staking privileges, privileges on Crypto.com, uh, exchange, gives you uh, privileges on the MasterCard, etc. But this could be your Apple of crypto. It really could. This could be your Apple devices of crypto. Like I have a MasterCard that's crypto.com. I use the exchange that's crypto.com. I got the coins that are crypto.com. I trade crypto.com and everything is great. <laughs> Just like the Apple fan base that is absolutely crazy to be using that device that's hardly been upgraded. <laughs> Please don't sue me, Steve Jobs, and rest in peace. So that is the reason why you need to be bullish on coins like this, and that's the reason why I'm sticking into this, waiting for that retracement a little bit more than 1.56%, and then going straight in. Seriously, there is no better time to do this, especially if Bitcoin decides to ride up. News that I will be giving you guys if you subscribe to this channel. Now, the next ones are this. 
And I cannot get away from this. Seriously, I have mentioned it one other time and it is one inch. I mentioned it on the other one. This is another exchange coin. Again, I'm going to be going through these exchange coins on another video, but in terms of staking and in terms of well, what you can get back from this, it has its own kind of rewards program going on with the one inch thing, which by the way, this is not something I've actually done in-depth research. Like I said, you guys are always do your own research on this stuff. The reason why I don't go in-depth and like research this stuff, which would take me about five minutes, is because you guys need to research. Seriously, this is putting your hard-earned money at stake. You should be researching, right? So you could go to staking or rewards. Staking rewards, there you go. So it's got its own reward system, 100% staking rewards. Not sure about that. And watch out for these dodgy, <laughs> dodgy people giving uh, information. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. Make sure you are 100% with what you go into. And by the way, make sure the one inch uh, site is the one that you go on first. Because you never know, right? You never know what you're going to go into in the World Wide Web. So, there we go. One inch exchange. Now, there must be something on here about staking rewards. I haven't, like I said, looked into it, but I know that there is rewards. Actually, this is something you guys can look into. I, I should actually be looking at you guys to be actually doing your own research on this. I can tell you guys this is bullish because it's obvious. You look at one inch, again, you look at it like the last coins that I shut down. It is a future thing that you're kind of looking at as well. You can see it in the same kind of price bracket as Leo right now, but even more significantly decentralized, <laughs> which increases its price, right? It's in the limelight where Leo definitely isn't. But because it's at this position, you could see it riding to this very easily. Not only because it's a decentralized exchange, and that is the future of why we're doing what we're doing, but it's just awesome. Right? It's just awesome. Like, I remember hearing that the people who spent $20 on the one inch exchange got free 2,000 coins or something. Something like that. 1,000 or 2,000 coins. Now, the all time high for this was like $3. So they ended up getting a good three, two to $3,000 for, depending on where they sold, for just spending $20 on the one inch exchange. It was absolutely incredible right? <laughs> so their head is in the right place. They're looking at the long-term picture and giving to people so they try the product, which is a great product, right? That is what most successful entrepreneurs do. They actually take an 80% dip in their revenue, as in they make minus 80% profits for an extended period of time. And then slowly but surely, because they've got an awesome product, more people come on to the product and it slowly starts to increase their profits. That is what One Inch obviously have done with that whole uh, deal. And I know for that fact that this easily can hit the, I said $5 mark, it can, yes, in the very short term, $3 mark, easily. $3 mark, definitely, in the very short term, but it can also hit the $5 mark to the $10 mark in the long term view, which is what this video is about. So yeah, and in the future, if there is some kind of FUD that happens with centralized exchanges, you could see this actually hitting the $40 mark, and I do not joke about that. Anytime FUD happens in one, people turn to the other one which usually is the opposite of the one that they turned to at the beginning. So the example being when there was USDT FUD, there were people going into uh, privacy coins, right? Because they couldn't trust Tether to, you know, <laughs> do what Tether should do. Uh, and the inflation rate could be, you know, changing from a dollar to whatever it is. Then people would go to privacy coins and try to increase the privacy coins to try to make that a reality. It's almost like a, a stance on the inability of <laughs> the US dollar to stay leveled. <laughs> yeah, it's like their political views, etc. So that's how this space works. If you guys didn't already kind of get it from the way Donald Trump speaks about Bitcoin and regulations, etc. So 
With that in mind comes the next one, and again, I don't want to go too in-depth into this, but we are going straight into one, another one, which is right there, actually. And I think I just took a quiz. Yep. <laughs> Learn crypto. I think I'm a bit past that. So we're just going to go straight into it, and it is the graph. Now, I have traded this like crazy, and I used to love every weekend trading this coin. But today we're going into the long-term perspective of it instead of the short-term. By the way, the reason I love it is because of this. The volatility is very stable. As in, like, you can you can kind of see where it's going for the most part unless Bitcoin takes a dive. And you guys can see it. It's actually at a new high from where it was and has been previously. You guys could see that it actually touched the, like, what is it, to 20 cent mark? 20 cent? 30 cent. 30 cent mark, okay. The 29, 28, 28 cent, yeah, 28 cent mark at the low, and it's doubled in price. Now, the reason I'm so bullish on this is obvious. They're pretty much trying to be the Google of the blockchain. Yeah, so they've got big dreams. They're kind of like Doge, right? And I so wish I could give you guys a pick or two. There's one. <laughs> They're like Doge. They've got big dreams, right? Doge to a dollar. So they want to be the Google of the blockchain space, and I truly believe that they can be from a position that nobody else has gone after those dreams, and you should be going after your dreams. <laughs> okay, enough sentimental stuff. Please don't cry on this while you're listening. Let's carry on. The next part of this is not only the fact it's DeFi, not only the fact it's on the Ethereum network, and... The bullishness of people waiting for the past two years for this thing to actually come to fruition, but also the fact that it's up 10%, its trading volume is very significant. Wow, very significant. But the most important thing is that it's on very highly used exchanges. Now, this is the same as 1inch, which is another reason why I think this can go very high very fast, even though the max supply is very high. I think this could easily hit the dollar mark in the very short term and very easily hit the $5 mark in the long term prospect easily. Easily, yes. And with news and catalyst news even further than that, not just because it's DeFi, not just because the price has gone up right now and I'm bullish as, because I've seen the way that it's traded, it's always very, very volatile and people trade this regularly. Sooner or later, that's going to catch up, and it's going to increase in general. It just will. That is the way it is. At some stage, it always needs to platform up. And because I saw this at the 79 cent, I think, where I sold, the 79 cent level or so, it's easily going to go back to those levels. Just to kind of put it in context for you guys to end this, it is, yep, the 78 cent level. So, we can see it reaching that point again, which is nearly the dollar level. Of course, the psychology comes into it. Most probably, it's going to be the dollar level. Then it's going to go up to, I don't know, the $3 level, the $5 level, etc. So, you can see that going up in the very, very, very near future, especially if this increases, this market cap. And I can see that happening. So, the last of them that I want to give you guys with a very long video. I hope you guys stuck in and if you didn't, all good. Leave a like, come back to this later, have your lunch, etc. Come back when you are fully rested, when you are good to carry this on for the last two picks. The last two picks are Ren, as you guys know, <laughs> is one that a lot of people talk about. I am very bullish on Ren. It is obvious why you should be bullish on Ren. They're actually doing things. <laughs> and what I want you guys to do is actually look into this. I do. And the reason is time. We're nearing 40 minutes, which kind of sucks. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's go into the next one. And it is... Uh, but first, I should actually give you guys a sentiment of why. Now, it's had a huge run-up. Yes, it's, it has. But you can see this easily hitting the $5 mark because it is the plug-in for most other cryptocurrencies. Now, I want you guys to look into this, but you guys can see here, functions as a, bod, a bond for those ru nodes running the REN, known as dark nodes. It aims an interoperability 
and hence accessibility of decentralized finance by removing hurdles involved in so it's pretty much the middleman removing the things that stop it going forward makes sense and allows the liquidity between different blockchains to go ahead that is the middleman just like chain just like ave just like those types of things that either take out the middleman or become the middleman in the best way this is just so undervalued it just is okay trust me <laughs> so the next one but before that wait we'll go into the all-time high 77 cents so easily the dollar mark and easily the five dollar mark like i said sounds crazy trust me if you've been in the bull run as much and the bull runs as much as me that is not crazy at all you could see this hitting the five dollar mark very very soon so the next one and the last one that I want to give you guys for this, just to finish off, 40 minute video, congratulations, pat yourself on the back for sticking in. Seriously, sometimes I couldn't, you know, back at lectures in psychology, I could not stay the 40 minute lecture and write everything down and yeah, congratulations for being able to do this. So, the last one is this, and it is one that is going to run up in the very, very, very near future to very big highs, and it is EGLD. Now the reason I'm so bullish on this is because, like I've said to you guys before, there are certain coins that just increase in price in the background. They just stay in the background and nobody looks at them until it's too late, until they hit the hundreds of dollars levels and everybody's focused on the next Cardano, right? Or the next EOS or whatever, or Cardano or EOS or whatever it is, right? The the FUD or the news or what's happening now and uh, not realizing that the ones sometimes that fall to the back are the ones that the big investors are actually focusing on. And you guys can actually see that this is one that they're focusing on. Now EGLD is so crazily undervalued, it's ridiculous. Look at its market cap right now from where it's at. It's easily in the $70 range right there, coming up to where it first kind of started in this part of the graph. Just this part of the graph. So not only that, it's coming to the position where its all-time high, $41, is going to be passed once again, and, well, $42 really, and its all-time low will never be seen again. <laughs> Just letting you guys know. But it's one of those coins that really doubles in price without you actually even realizing it while you're sleeping. It just does. It's one of those that just has a run up, but you don't realize, and then it comes to the point where it's too expensive there, it's too expensive there, it's too expensive there, and you never get in. <laughs> right? You start going after Cardano because Cardano was like 50 cents, not realizing that this is from a position where it's nearly reached its all time high again. So, what does that mean? That means price discovery. Now, what does that mean? Price discovery means it's got nothing up here. There's no resistance. When it hits a position of no resistance, then it can just go up and retrace, and then go up and retrace, and go up and retrace continuously if it chooses to. So you could see this riding up maybe three times the price, four times the price, five times the price, etc. Very easily, especially if it continually breaks past the last resistance. And you can see, because it's $37, the all-time high is, what, $40, $42, it will come to the position where it will retest that high again. If it breaks past that resistance, then sky's the limit once again. Sky's the limit. And that is what you guys call a moonshot. So the funny thing that I keep seeing to end this, just, just you know, not financial advice, but just something for you guys to look at, is how the masses, the, all the people who just aren't smart about this, they keep looking at the coin that is that has news that looks like it's going to run up maybe like two cents. Great. You know, 10 cents, whatever it is. And they call that a moonshot. Like, oh, Cardano's going to the moon, for example. Uh, by the way, I love Cardano, which is the reason I'm giving it as that um, example. But Cardano has so many different resistance levels. I mean, just look at the graph. Look at the graph. It's crazy, right? We'll look at it here actually, to give you guys some insight. It's, it has so many different resistance levels, it's crazy. So why 
invest in something like this right and yes i gave you guys you know i'm eating my words right now because i told you guys uh invest in ada to stake it but that's different in terms of long term versus what most people are doing which they're trying to make the the very high percent profit very quick they're trying to go to the moon it's very hard to go to the moon when there's craters in the way when you leave orbit right so if you guys don't get that analogy please Look into astro <laughs> astrology as well. But no, what I mean by that is there's different resistance levels. Actually, can't really do that. There's so many different resistance levels from the previous time it went to its all-time highs. So till about a dollar, it's got huge resistance levels. And what that what does that mean? That means it's less likely to actually break up to higher levels. If you do, guys just look here, just in this position, which by the way, we're a quarter away from its all-time high one quarter away just just to give you guys context of this something like Elrond has so much upside potential if it just breaks one resistance level and its market cap the the price needs to catch up to the market cap right the difference here is the fact that ADA as you guys can see it has so many different resistance points going up that it's just difficult to even get anywhere uh, forward fast so uh, one of them is here. You guys can see that it actually just went back from there. One is here, and then there's another one here. And there's more in between, by the way, if you count these like wicks and stuff of where it's going to stop. So you guys can see there's resistance levels right there. And if it just retests on the support level once again, it's going to be hitting these resistance levels just to get back to the 38 cents level. Three. Three different resistance levels. That's crazy, right? It's crazy, especially when people sell low, sell lower than you do, trying to get the high of the profit. <laughs> so you got to be smart about this. You, you literally do, because this is your money, and this is your time that you're wasting on this. So you've got to be a step or five ahead of the rest, which is sometimes not financial advice, but sometimes to not get invested into these types of coins until they've reached a position where they can just go sky high. <laughs> Sorry, give me a sec. It's funny because I'm into shock humor. It, it shocks me every time because there's people who have come in, there's people, by the way, on social, social media sites who they get paid to say this kind of stuff. They see, they get paid to shell different cryptocurrency projects knowing that they're going to hit these resistance levels and knowing that they could be giving you guys this crazy advice that I just gave you guys, especially for sticking in nearly 50 minutes. The fact that you can go to something that has one resistance point and can hit all-time highs can easily see the $50 mark very, very soon very easily see the hundred dollar mark if it keeps continuing onwards it's crazy to me it's crazy to me that they sell people out like that and i'm not willing to do that so play this smart play this smart listen to what i'm saying i i'm coming from a position of wisdom where i've done this stupid stuff before i follow people who don't have a clue what they're talking about Seriously, I've taken their advice, I've invested into something, and almost every time and sold it a loss. I've sold it a loss, right? And it's just sad to me that this that people are doing this. So don't be one of those people. Understand in terms of portfolio, because I know a lot of you are going to ask about this, I would recommend that about 50% of your portfolio, if you're just in altcoins, 50% of your portfolio is in long term, Right? If you're just playing altcoins, if you're playing Bitcoin as well, put 50%, uh, include the 50% of your Bitcoins in that portfolio. For you guys who are just trying to make flips, I've given you guys what the long-term picks are. Like I said, man, you can put it on the exchange, get them off the exchange, put it into a secure wallet, get the wallet together, keep it on your uh, watch list, keep checking it maybe every week or whatever it is, see it growing to new highs, you know, the $80 level, $100 level, even, you know, I don't know, $200 level if you wanted to sell at that price and just keep waiting until it hits that mark and you just keep living life. You can choose to do this with a set number or set part of your portfolio. Very easy, 
right? Very easy. It's for you guys who want these long-term picks and don't want to have to put up with the, you know, <laughs> the whole go up, uh, oh, I hit that resistance point, oh, better retest, uh, oh, come back up, oh, finally we break up, oh, it's hit that resistance point, got to go back down, oh, it's fallen through because of Bitcoin, oh, we got to retest this resistance point, oh, it's gone up, oh, that's great, we're back here, oh, it's not, not hit it, oh, it's the third time, oh, finally, look at that. That's years. <laughs> and even you 12-year-olds watching or you people in your basement do not have years. You want that W quick, right? So that W will not happen quickly for coins like this. I'm just being straight up. Seriously. That run-up, this, took a long time to get that W going. You guys see that? There's a W there. W and then... Psh, Right? But that took a long time to happen. You do not want to be waiting for these W's. What you want is the W's here with nothing in the way for it to actually skyrocket into the moon. Okay, that is pretty much it. This is a 50 minute video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and took so much out of this. I really do. I want to give you guys so much and I hope you can return that by just subscribing to my social media platforms. I mean, I got my, uh, you know, you guys want to see more of actual life away from cryptocurrency, because I do have a life away. Look at my Instagram, look at my other channels. I put them at the bottom of this channel. You guys can check these out. And I hope this wasn't too much, by the way, to give you guys this. I gave you guys this to kind of come from the right perspective and give you guys a little bit of insight so I don't need to teach you guys or, you know, constantly tell you guys where my past years have been in the space, right? or my past years of life in general have been. And I want the best for all of you. I want you guys to win, I want you guys to succeed sooner than later so you guys can pay it forward like that Macaulay Culkin kid or the guy from... <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'll stop this bit before I get ahead of myself. The guy from... Ah, oh, man, it's got... Okay, you guys put it in the comment section below. What is that ghost movie where that guy who's off Die Hard He's, you know, the twist, right? Sixth Sense, that's it. Do like the Sixth Sense kid and pay it forward. <laughs> that's what I want for you guys and girls out there, all right? So I want you guys wealthy as soon as possible. So that is pretty much it. Look out for the uh, picks that I've been giving you been giving you in the previous videos. They still have massive run-ups to uh, go through. If you haven't already, seriously, subscribe. It's simple free as well free way to support the channel look at these other videos they are absolutely gems not you know from the 10 years i've been in crypto and also if you guys could just smash a like for sticking in pat yourself on the back seriously hope you guys use the piece of paper that you have written everything down on and it's not just there for you to kind of put in your drawer and forget about you have to act on these fast. You have to understand this space is very quick. You could see this going right up to its market cap very, very quickly. I mean, within a day. So realize that. Realize you've got to be ahead of the game. And how you stay ahead of the game is to do your own research. Follow people like me who actually know what they're talking about. And do your own research. Make your own assessment. And make your own decision. Okay, that is pretty much me. Catch you guys for the next one. Peace.